What's up AFF? Today we're gonna do a 40 minute workout. You're not gonna need any equipment at all. So if you're ready for that, let's get to work. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Carpenter GC, where we help you accomplish your fitness goals before, during, and after that six week challenge. If that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of our workouts or other instructional videos. Go ahead and let me know what location you're at by typing your location in the comments section below. And if you're ready to work your ass off, hit that thumbs up button. Today we're gonna do a traditional Tabata style workout. So what we're gonna do is 20 seconds of work time with a 10 second rest. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're gonna complete six movements. How this is gonna work is we're gonna do, for example, our first movement is gonna be push up with shoulder taps. So we're gonna complete 20 seconds of work time with a 10 second rest, and then we're gonna do that eight times. So we're gonna stay on that push ups to shoulder taps for eight consecutive times. Once we are done with that movement, we're gonna move on to the next movement, complete that eight times, and then move on to the next one until we're done with this workout. This should be a work time of 24 minutes. We're gonna add in that warm up at the beginning, of course, and a cool down at the end for a 40 minute workout. Let's get a quick warm up in by start hopping around. Go ahead and take a nice big deep breath. Feel those lungs filling up. Start moving those arms around. Feel that chest rise up. Let our body know what we are about to put it through. All right, let's get those heels to hips. Start moving those arms. Feel those calves firing. You can always start by stepping if you would like. Good job, keep moving those arms. We're gonna start those jumping jacks in three, two, one, let's go. Still keep that deep breath going. Control that breath, control that body. Good job, keep it going. And relax, Let's shake it out a little bit. We're gonna head straight into those squats. Put those feet about hip length apart. And we're bringing those hips down and back. Try to keep that chest up though. I don't wanna see any of this stuff right here. Push those knees outside. I don't want to see those knees buckling in. And really focus on your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings as they stretch. Flex them at the bottom of that hole so that you can rise right up. And relax, let's shake it out. We're gonna do an inchworm. We're just gonna reach down, walk those hands out, and then walk them right back. Feeling that nice stretch in those hamstrings, coming all the way to the top, and we're going right back down. Really move with the purpose here. Don't just flail your arms around. I really want you to focus on what muscles are being activated. Really flex those muscles through this movement. Try to get as much blood and oxygen to those muscles as we possibly can. And one more time here. We're gonna finish off on this inchworm. And we're gonna move straight to high knees. Ready, set, let's go. Nice and easy. If you want to step it out, just get that knee as high as you possibly can on this one. Every once in a while, go ahead and tighten that cord just so that you become aware of it. That mind muscle connection is vital to a 
Really good workout. Keep it going. Three, two, and relax. All right, let's go ahead and do some sprawls. We're just going down, sprawling out. Let's get a push up in there as well. Coming back up to the top. You can always walk it out. You can put those knees down, leaning with that chest on that push up and walking back up. Or you can sprawl it out and click with it. Again, focusing on that breath as we do this warm up. This is not a race, but by now, you should be feeling a little sweat percolating on that skin of yours. Ah, nice big deep breaths here. Ah, oh, I forgot the push up part. That's all right. Ah. All right, I'm gonna start incorporating those push ups now. And relax, go ahead and shake out those arms. We're gonna do some high kicks. I want you to think about controlling that leg, not only going up, but also going down. Beautiful. Opposite hand to opposite foot. You're not seeing anybody doing this. Control, control, control. And relax. Now we're gonna stay planted on that left foot. That right leg is gonna kick out. I really wanna feel that side hip contract. Start to heat up right about there. Control, control, control again. This should not be looking like this. That upper body should be still. Really tighten that core. The only thing moving is your leg. And relax, let's switch up those legs. I like to not just go directly to the side, but a little bit of an angle as I do this side kick. Control, balance. That's the great thing about functional training is that this is going to translate to your everyday life. Balance is extremely important. And relax, let's go right back to those jumping jacks. Five more seconds, two, and one. All right, that is it, y'all. Let's get to the workout. The first movement we're gonna be doing is a push-up to a shoulder tap. So what that should look like, we're gonna have those hands directly under those shoulders. We're going to bring your chest down as those elbows stay tight against that body. Then we're gonna go all the way up, and then we're gonna tap one shoulder and then tap the opposite shoulder. When you're doing those shoulder taps, make sure that upper body doesn't move too much. I want you to stay as stiff as a board as we move through those shoulder taps. And then we're gonna go right back down to that push-up. So it should look just like this. You can always do those knee push-ups, just drop those knees. Make sure those hips aren't too far back. Make sure they bring those hips forward. We're leading with that chest, coming all the way up, doing the same thing. We're tapping those shoulders. All right, we're gonna get going here in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, 20 seconds of work time begin now. This is not a race, we're doing this eight sets, remember. What I like to do is take a nice big inhale as I go down, exhale as I push through that push-up. 
Control that body on those shoulder taps and relax. We've got a 10 second break and then we're going right back into those push-ups in three, two, one. Make sure that core is nice and tight as we move through these. Excellent. That is it. We got five more seconds of rest and we're going to go right back into it. We're done with two of our eight sets and begin. Make sure those elbows stay close to your rib cage as we go down into this push up. That's going to put less stress on those shoulders. Good job. Do not forget to breathe through this workout. Do not hold that breath. Three, two, one. biceps and those triceps. Breathe through it. Good job. Rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice strong foundation in those hands. Power through. Rest. Two, one, let's go. Nice strong foundation in those hands, in those feet, in that core. Try not to bury that chin too far into that chest. Again, we are almost done with our first exercise. And relax. We've got one more set of push-ups to shoulder taps. Three, two, one. And relax. My life. We've got one more, I believe. Breathe it through. Breathe it through. Oh no, we're done. All right, good job. That completes our first movement of six. Go ahead and get some water and I'll explain it in the next one. The next movement, what we're gonna do is forward lunges to high knees moving backwards. So what we're gonna do is take a nice big step forward, drop that back knee down and you can either crit, get your balance back and then go for that second lunge or you can go straight into that second lunge if you'd like. Get that balance, and then we're doing high knees moving backwards until you get to that starting position, and then we hit that thing again. Like I said, we're doing eight reps of this, eight sets, and we're gonna get going here in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Two forward lunges. Get those high knees moving backwards. Where'd you get that rhythm down? Let's get that pace up. And relax. We got a 10 second rest. 
That first set is always a breeze. That just gets our rhythm down. Three, two, one. Let's go. Make sure those chest stay tall as we move through these. We got 10 second rest. Starting to see spots of sweat dropping already. I like it, I like it. Let's go. Really exaggerate that arm movement as we do with those reverse high knees. Relax. These are more fun than the push ups, in my opinion. Three, two, one, go. Keep that chest up. Good job. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, and relax. Good job. We're cruising through this one. We're cruising. Three, two, one, let's get it. what set we're on just keep cruising keep moving I'll let you know when we're done let's go good job keep breathing through these Three, two, one, and relax. That is eight sets. We are done. Go ahead and grab some water. All right. The next movement, what we're going to be doing is bicycles. So we're going to be working on those abs, those cores. So bicycle. We're going to be on our backs. We're going to have those hands behind your head. Do not interlock your hands and do not pull your head. The only reason why I have your hands behind your head is so that we keep our elbows flared out throughout this whole movement. We're gonna have those legs at a 90 degree angle. From here, I'm going to extend my right leg as I bring my right elbow to my knee and I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm trying to keep that upper back off of the mat the entire time and make sure those elbows don't come in. I know your body's going to want to bring those elbows in, but make sure you keep those elbows flared out. All right, go ahead and get on your backs. We're going to get started here in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Go at your own pace, but do not do this, right? Control that body, control that core. Extend that leg completely out as we do this. Keep those elbows flared. And breathe. Breathe. And relax. 
We got a 10 second break. We're gonna need those 10 seconds for this one, I can already tell. Three, two, one, go. I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can't Keep those elbows flared out. Feel feel come in. Right. Spin those legs all the way. You're gonna cheat yourself. Three, two, one. Relax. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. Start to feel the alien pop out of that stomach of mine. I already feel it. And let's go. Yo, we got this. We're almost done. Let's go. So the next movement, what we're going to be doing is a bear crawl to a reverse lunge this time. So we're going to be on one side of our mat. We're just going to hit that bear crawl just to about the end. We're going to get up and we're going to hit that reverse lunge, keeping that chest up. Nice big step back, bringing that knee down to the floor. Just go as low as you can. Explode off that opposite foot. And then we're coming right back to that reverse lunge and then hitting that bear crawl. Easy enough, right? All right. It's always good to practice how to get down and get up off of the floor. So let's do it. We're gonna get started on this one in five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Bear crawl it out. Try to keep those booties down as much as you can. And we're gonna hit that reverse lunge. really starting to pile on here. Three, two, one. Let's go. Once you 
get that rhythm down, pick up that pace. And relax. Three, two, one, let's go. And relax, we're quickly do this one. Get those arms out. Three, two, uno. Let's go. Let's take a step back. Keeping that chest up, always keep that chest up. Except for the bear crawl, of course. When you do those reverse lunges. Five, four, three, two, one. Two, one. We're cruising now, we're cruising. Five, four, three, two, one. Done with that movement. What we're going to do next is thank you, Miss Robot Voice. All right. So next movement, what we're going to do is Superman. Superman. All right. So we're going to work our backs this time. It's very challenging to work your back without weights, but we're going to do it today. So what we're going to do is we're going to be on our bellies. Those hands are out in front. All we're going to do is raise those hands and those arms and that upper chest off of the floor as well as our legs. We're going to hold for about two seconds and then we're going to rest. Hold for two seconds, rest for like one second. Hold for two seconds, rest for one second. All right, go ahead and get in position. This is going to strengthen that lower back. I want to make sure that's a nice strong lower back, especially if we're sitting all day. Ready? Three, two, one, let's get it. Don't rest for too long because remember we've got a 10 second rest. Really feel those glutes contracting as well. We are working our booties. And relax. We've got a 10 second rest. We're going to fall asleep here. Oh, does that feel good? But we ain't done yet, y'all. Two, one, get it. Let's 
Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those booties. And relax, we got 10 seconds unless we're chilling right here. Three, two, one, go. Don't rest too long on those. Squeeze those booties. And relax. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. seconds. Three would be best. I need to hold it a little longer. Here we go. That's better. Five, four, three, two, one. Starting to feel it in that upper back as well. Three, two, one. Begin. set of our supermans. One more. Try to hold those positions for like three to five seconds. Let's go. Give it all you got on this one. Leave it all on the floor. Raise those moves. Raise those feet as high as they can go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Beautiful work. All right, we got one more exercise to do. We got one more exercise to do. What we're going to do to finish it off is a nice cardio and leg movement here. We're going to do speed skaters. What a speed skater looks like. Whew. Well, let me crack that back a little bit. All right, what a speed skater looks like is this. We're bringing that back leg back and behind that opposite leg. Boom. And then we're just going to get a nice hop as we come to that other side. If you can touch the floor, go for it. And also, if you can keep that back leg elevated as we move through these speed skaters, go ahead and go for it. Try it, do multiple different ways. Push yourself, because this is the last movement we are doing for our workout. Whew. All right, we're gonna get started here in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Keep that back leg elevated. Get a nice good hop to that other side of your mat. Five, four, three, two, one. 10 second rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Three, two, and relax. Whew. Tension strong here. 
three, two, one. Still. And relax. We're cruising through this one, y'all. We're cruising. Three, two, one. Begin. Huh. Three, two. One. Yep, starting to feel it. Five, four, three, two, one. There y'all, we are almost there. Finish strong. Two, one, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Keep cruising y'all. This is when you get stronger, when you're tired, not at the beginning of the workout, but at the end. Do not stop. Three, two, one, let's go. Bring up the intensity right now. This is it, we got two sets left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Relax, one more set. Take a few deep breaths. This is gonna be your best set yet. Four, three, two, one. Get it. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and one. You are done. Congratulations. You did it. Thank you so much for working so hard with me. That was awesome. Go ahead and get some water. Meet me back here in about 30 seconds. We're going to stretch you out and be done. Woo. Let's control that body. Taking some big deep breaths in. Exaggerate those shoulders as they come up and down as you breathe in and breathe out. All right, let's shake those arms out a little bit. Shake those legs. Shoulders back and down. Let's grab that left foot. We're doing a classic flamingo here. Now when you're doing this flamingo stretch, you don't want to just jam your heel right into your hip here. You want to actually kind of bring that knee back and kick it out and up and pull up so you really get a good stretch in that quad. And relax, let's go ahead and switch it up. Again, and don't flare your, your uh, rib cage, bring those rib cages in. Those hips are under those ribs. Flex that quad. And relax. Let's go ahead and reach down to those toes as we stretch our hamstrings. Nice big breath in. Exhale as we reach down to those toes. You can let that head hang down as you can feel that spine elongate. Take a big deep breath in. And relax. 
relax. Keep exaggerating that breath. Let's go ahead and get a nice wide stance here. We're going to bend that right knee. We're going to stretch that left groin. Big breath. Let's go ahead and switch it up. And relax. Let's go ahead and grab that right arm, pull it towards our body as we stretch the back side of our shoulder. We can move that wrist around, that always feels good. Make sure that shoulder is down, not up in your cheek. And so switch it up. Shake those arms. Give yourself a pat on the back here. All right. And that is it, y'all. Great job. Thank you for working out with us. If you did like that workout, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. It just helps spread it to other people who want to get a good workout in as well. Don't forget, let me know what camp you represent in the comment section below. I'm super curious to see what camp brings the most heat. I love that shit. Good job, everybody. Be kind out there. It's a beautiful world we live in. Let's keep it that way, and I'll see you on the next workout. Oh, yeah, and don't forget, subscribe up to this channel so you won't miss any of our workouts or other videos. I'll see you next time, y'all. Push up to shoulder tap. That's how you do it, huh? That's how I do it. I can't remember all that shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. I gotta eat. I just don't remember my emotion. You just what? You just have to try to try to try to do it. You got 30 minutes.